They all appear to be in. And we all wait for action down in the chute. Cranky moved. Racing in the cup. Cranky Harry seemed to come out a little awkwardly. Lord Ardmore from the inside was ridden shortly after the break and onto the course proper. Cranky Harry has been able to hold them out. Nishikori went to second. Caprice Deder is wide, rushing around the outside. Crazy Train fourth around the first bend on the inside of the catch and then came Bean Foggy, followed by Sailor. Lord Ardmore Lady Shotgun second last and Oster Meyer went back to the table of the field. Cranky Harry past the 1,000 metres mark led the cup by three parts of a length. Caprice de Deux is running second. A gap of two lengths to Nisha Corey. Crazy Train is on the rail as they go past the half mile marker followed by Sailor, Bean Foggy Lord Ardmore on the inside. The catch in front of them was between horses and Lady Shotgun whipped them in as they come out of the back past the 600 metres mark. Cranky Harry in front of Caprice de Deux. The catch on a wide run has gone to third. Crazy train on the rail. Then Sailor. Lord Ostermeyer. Nishikori dropping out of it. Lord Ardmore is giving away a long start. Cranky Harry is the leader and heads towards the outside of the track turning. 250 metres out. Cranky Harry in front. Crazy train gives chase and then the catch. Cranky Harry led with 100 metres left to go. Crazy train is trying but Harry's too good. Cranky Harry wins the Mawoolumbah Cup from Crazy Train. The catch, Ostermeyer, Lord Ardmore, Sailor Bean Foggy, Lady Shotgun Nishikori and Caprice de Deux came in at the back. Another one for Matt Dunn and for Jake Bayliss. Cranky Harry, $1.50, $1.10. Crazy Train, $2.30, the catch, $5.80. Do you reckon he half point knuckle coming out of the gate? I couldn't see it, mate, to be honest. Oh. Anyway, it doesn't matter, he won.